China is home to more than 2,800 county-level administrative regions, spreading across more than 9.6 million square kilometers. Counties play a crucial role in governance, helping to guide and implement economic policies, ensuring quality of life for local residents, as well as maintaining stability both locally and nationally. On the front line of these endeavors are county committees of the Communist Party of China. The committees are led by party secretaries, who are often likened to commanders-in-chief. No day is ever the same. These secretaries are not only veteran officials, the younger generation too have stepped up to play their part. You may wonder how the secretaries of the CPC county committees make decisions, how they develop the local economy and resolve conflicts. What have they done to make such sweeping changes in rural China happen? Lankau County in Henan Province, central China, was once synonymous with poverty. The Yellow River, the mother river of the Chinese nation, makes its last turn here before joining the vast sea. More than 50 years ago, Zhao Yulu, then secretary of CPC Lankau County Committee, in a mission to rid the area of poverty, led battles against sandstorms vast swathes of saline alkali land and floods. He died in the line of duty. Today, his memory lives on, honored as a role model for CPC County Committee secretaries. Half a century after his death, Lankau has bid farewell to extreme poverty, transforming itself. These top priorities are to make sure the hard-won gains of poverty elimination are not reversed, and that rural revitalization is a success. During the winter wheat harvest, Li and his fellow party officials in Lankau will stay in the villages for at least one night every week to listen to the public's thoughts and concerns. Today, Li is going to Bai Yunshan village. Lee must offer support to farming households who have just been lifted out of poverty. There is always the danger that some unforeseen events, such as a sudden illness, could undo all their hard work, and they could slip back into poverty. Lee conducted a thorough countrywide investigation and found that nearly 4,000 people from more than 1,500 households were at risk of returning to poverty. Thus, they were offered targeted support. <laughs> Lee 
More than 100 years ago, Mao Zedong lived and studied at Yuelu Academy. He was deeply touched when he opened the window and saw a plaque inscribed with Seeking Truth from Facts. This nearly 2,000-year-old Chinese motto means problems must be solved from the root, exaggeration must be avoided, and you must see with your eyes wide open. In 1945, Seeking Truth from Facts was incorporated into the Constitution of the Communist Party of China for every party member to uphold. This in-depth research and study approach, which involves engagement with the public before policies and measures are formulated, is called From the People to the People by the Communists. They always say that the interests of the people are no trivial matters. Democratic centralism is a fundamental CPC principle. It both stimulates the party and unifies its thoughts and actions, thus effectively preventing discussion without decision and decision without execution. So 先干,只要按标准干,一定上级的补助资金会到位。after returning to the county seat, Li led a standing committee meeting of the local CPC County Committee. He presented the problems he had uncovered in Bai Yuan Shan. The next stage will be a collective study which will form a final decision. Hey, Wang Fei, he just mentioned the plan. Today, I'm going to the Bai Yuan Shan. Bai Yuan Shan is to pay a high standard plan to the local CPC Committee. It's not yet. 包括建设队伍都没有Democratic centralism is a combination of centralism based on democracy and democracy under centralized guidance. It is integral to how party committees and governments at all levels make decisions. The CPC's approach to democracy is a brand new system known as whole process people's democracy. It is different from voting democracy where after voting the people soon revert to inactivity, where impractical slogans are bandied about during election campaigns. But the people have no right to speak after that, and where people are favoured during canvassing but are left out in the cold after the election. 
Whole Process People's Democracy features real participation across the whole process, including democratic elections, political consultations, decision-making, management, and oversight, so that democracy can really solve problems. In 1944, Gunther Stein, a British correspondent, visited Yan'an, the location of the CPC Central Committee at that time, and he saw how even the illiterate were involved in the democratic process. This was a popular folk song at the time. This simple method facilitated public participation in the election. It was an effective method for the CPC to promote people's democracy. Feng Jie is the starting point of the famous Three Gorges. This county inspired countless Chinese poets to write many ancient poems. Li Bai, a famous Tang Dynasty poet, authored the widely known seven-character quatrain setting off early from Bai Di Cheng. This is a tiny mountain village in Feng Jie County, so small you can't even find it on a map. Right now, villagers are having a discussion. <laughs> The local terrain makes water storage difficult, so CPC Fungia County Committee decided to build a reservoir to provide clean drinking water to every household. However, some villagers questioned why they now needed to pay for water. Yang Shu Hai, who was then secretary, came to the village to hear their concerns. Shui 也找到了我们解决问题的办法In addition to this face-to-face -face appeal session, the people of Feng Jie can call the 24-hour service hotline to raise their concerns directly with the CPC County Committee. The CPC County Committee must follow up on the results and provide timely feedback. Feng Jie is in Chongqing Municipality. This municipality is where the political consultative conference approach originated in the 1940s. It was the birthplace of five historical agreements, including a proposal on how to peacefully and democratically found the new country. 
。政协并不是可有可无，它是我们的基本政治制度，就是用政治协商的方式来凝聚人心，就照顾到各个方面的利益，然后争取最大的共识。In September 1949, the first plenary session of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, CPPCC, was convened in Beijing. Two days after the conference finished, New China was founded. New China and the CPPCC are inextricably linked. The CPC's multi-party cooperation and political consultation system is unique. It avoids the drawbacks of lack of oversight, taking turns to rule, and vicious competition. This afternoon, Yang Shu Hai attended the Political Consultative Conference of Fengjie County. The conference covered opinions offered by representatives from non-CPC political parties and people without party affiliation. They were invited to advise the CPC Fengjie County Committee and discuss solutions to current issues. The bridges in Fengjie connect both sides of the Yangtze River, while the Bridge of Consultative Democracy connects all sectors of society. Under the multi-party cooperation and political consultation system, Non-CPC parties and personages without party affiliation are active in and supervise the decision-making and policy implementation of CPC committees. In today's China, negotiation is used to achieve common ground and identify shared interests. This is Chinese democracy. It is hard to imagine that this vast grassland, where only two people live on every square kilometre, has a modern primary school. Their school only has 12 students, all identify as ethnically Hui. Party secretary Gong Fei was born in the 1980s. He has been in office for less than a year. He really values education for ethnic minorities. To inject some youthful vitality into the school, the county party committee and the county government initiated a part-time teacher system. This rotation system recruits young teachers from urban areas. Because the teachers are older, 
they don't often play with the students outside. Gong Fei asked the kids if he could join them in a kickabout. Ethnic issues have and will continue to be important to the CPC. This is best illustrated by the Regional Ethnic Autonomy System. This system was initiated by Mao Zedong in 1936 under the principle of ethnic equality. The same year, the first county-level autonomous government for ethnic minorities was established in the Shangan-Ning border region. Edgar Snow, an American correspondent, said in his book Red Star Over China that it was the most important thing that he had seen in Ningxia. Yan Che is here. From 五八年我们宁夏成立到现在应该是经济社会发展和谐稳定各民族你中有我我中有你同时呢我们通过积极的帮扶通过培训通过就业等多种方式提高我们少数民族的同胞的收入来确保大家实现共同富裕这样一个目
It has topped the ranking in China's top 100 county-level cities in terms of comprehensive strength for 17 consecutive years. Even in 2020, badly impacted by the epidemic, its total industrial output value still exceeded $156.5 billion. This elevator, one of the fastest elevators in the world today, is produced by Finnish firm Kone Elevator. Several of its production lines are in Kunshan. We already started our digital transformation in our factories, okay. right? And mm. we started in the machine factory, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm. And uh, we are doing this with our own efforts, with our own ideas. Mm -hmm. right? It would be really um, interesting and, and uh, to hear from, from you if... Yes. if uh, if you can provide us some support okay. to be perhaps more systematic and be even more faster yeah, in, okay. in, in those efforts. This year, we have the first meeting of the Suzhou City, which is the Global Economic Development Forum. The most important part is the digital transformation of the digital and the digital transformation. Kunshan has decided the digital transformation of the digital and the digital transformation of the digital transformation. 同时还出台了鲲鹏数字伙伴计划，提供了非常多的政策支撑。After leaving Kone Elevator, Wu Xinming went to NSK, a Japanese-funded enterprise which ranks first in market share in Japan and is at the forefront of its industry. In 1995, NSK founded its first Chinese factory in Kunshan. まあ、コモさんとの話せるやには日本人学校とか日本の医療機関がまだありません。なんでまあ、通勤面で、先少しばかりご配慮いただけると大変です。一個呢、解決医療的问题。可以在我们现有的昆山有两个三甲医院，在
，但是什么事情你都会碰到，上面千根线，下面一根针，所有的你党委书记必须要懂。The CPC selects officials based on moral integrity and professional competence. Only doers who aim to long serve the people are selected, other than the orators who take no actions. So I say we have no reason to do well for the company. You have no industrial base, no strong economic base. Where do I get money to build our city's first rail line? Where do I get the basic rail line? Opening up is the inherent gene and trait of the CPC. It has gone from a small party with just over 50 members to celebrate its centenary with more than 95 million members today. Since its birth, the CPC has continuously absorbed, learned, and shared the most advanced ideas and technologies of human civilization. So, the Chief Secretary has always said to build the human being as a common unit. I think this is the nature of our party's essence. An open party brings open minds and opens open minds. In the lower reaches of the Yangtze River, Wu Xinming was running between major transnational enterprises, focusing on optimizing the business environment, while in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, Yang Shu Hai was busy mobilizing the power from all sectors of society to accelerate the rural revitalization. In the lower reaches of the Yellow River, Li Mingjun was running between different villages and towns, working out how to improve the lives of the people who have got rid of poverty. While in the upper reaches of the Yellow River, Gong Shuafei was eager to attract talent and mobilize resources for quality education for children of ethnic minority groups. Like them, more than 2,800 county committee party secretaries shared the same aspiration and goal. That is, helping every person live a better life.